Hey guys, we're back. Okay, so here's the complete setup for the press. We've got the pump right there with all our brass fittings. And then we got that, which is our exit valve and our enter valve. Let's zoom in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a little closer. But what this does right here is when you have this down and the vacuum pump is on and pressure is sucking all the air out, when you need to get the mold out in a hurry, we just flip this open, it shoots the air out, vacuum releases, and we're ready to go. So that's that. And that's the whole setup right there. Now, the other thing that I wanted to debut to you guys, or show you guys, is this little nifty piece of equipment. <clears throat> It is what they call a power heat press. And they use these for doing like t-shirts and everything. So when you go to the uh, the beach or whatever and you want some shark put on your t-shirt, they lay their t-shirt out here, put this piece of platen over it, and then bring that down, timer kicks on, or whatever. Well, for our purposes, we're using it for Kydex to heat it up in under 55 seconds. Anywhere from 55 to you know a minute to 10, depending on the type of heat press that you use <clears throat> or the temperature, whatnot. Um, anyway, something that you see here on this piece of Kydex, if I can get it to focus is this texture it's kind of a woven pattern you can see almost grids like well that is the same thing that's on this platen right here you won't be able to see that because it's just oh maybe you will All right there. you can kind of see it let me block the light here for a second it's kind of woven pattern just like any sort of piece of clothing or whatever but uh when you put the pressure down on your Kydex, what happens is if you do it with the texture side up, this is a this is the non-texture side. But if you do it with the texture side up, there's already a, obviously a texture there. When that other texture presses down into this piece of Kydex, you get that woven pattern. Now I don't really like it, but maybe some somebody might. Uh, like that as a cool different pattern and we might be able to do that or something but uh yeah that's what uh this machine's for and uh sure as heck gets the job done we're at uh 268 degrees and that green the green lettering or green numbers is your time and that's what we have it set at but uh our temperature we set it at 385 and then shut the lid down and wait our 55 seconds and then we just take it from there transfer it over to here shut it put the vacuum on it wait about two minutes release it take it out and then start working on the finishing the holster um, we got a lot of stuff going on right now, so you can expect to see several things going on with us. Um, we're working on getting into the local gun show here so that we can sell some holsters, and we're also working on finishing the website. Website is taking a heck of a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But 
it is what it is. It's better to do it right or to have a quality website than to rush it and put out something that is going to annoy you guys. And you'll, one other thing, when I made the last video, I talked about using foam board for a substitute to neoprene foam and the half inch form factor. Well, basically, this really crushes and I don't, it doesn't really come back. So it's not going to work for, it's not closed cell, so it's not gonna bounce back on us. Well, I don't know if it's closed cell. Let me check. Yeah, I don't believe that this foam board is a uh, closed cell. So if uh, anybody knows if it's closed cell or open cell, let me know. I'm trying to get this to focus here. But uh, anyway, it's not going to work out for our application, but it may work out for some other applications that we uh, might be doing in the future, but uh, who knows? We'll find out. Oh, and uh, we are almost up to temperature here. All right, and we've got uh, a foam shipment coming in next week. Should be here Wednesday or Thursday, hopefully. Hopefully the new batch of weather doesn't uh, hinder anything we can do in the workshop or just hinder shipping for the stuff that we need to operate. All right, Stuart, if you see right here, you can see this line right there in the kaida, or in the, the little foam that you used, soft foam you used. What happened was this rope that you wanted, or that you include with your former, which I know I sent you a message about it, but I might as well visually show you since I'm making a video. When you put it here, you accidentally close it like I did. Stupid mistake on my part. When you do that, it creates an imprint. Well, that imprint, in turn, which you can imagine, undoubtedly, because you made this, it's going to break my seal. So I'll show you that. So right down there, this is not enough to really cause a whole hell of a lot of concern, but once I have a vacuum on it, you can hear it hissing right here in this seam. So I think what I might end up doing in the future, if I can't heat, the, you know what, let me get the heat gun, we'll see if we can't heat that out. Bear with me a minute. Kayaks is almost ready to get put in the, or our oven's almost ready to have a kayak put in there. It's not really an oven, I guess, it's a press. I'm gonna have to get used to on in the press. Hopefully, when I turn this on, it doesn't kill the lights. Nope. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wait, but I'll show you the finished product here with the former. I'm gonna back this up. So we can get a better view. Zoom out for you guys. All right. Oh, I'm trying to study this tripod here. All right, we're just waiting to get that five more degrees here. 
she gets warm. We're going to go ahead and put this. This side down. You always want to make sure your kydex is clean. Most of the people that do this understand that. Because you get any impurities in your kydex and it's going to show up after the pressure. I usually just do a paper towel and get most of the stuff. I mean, your finger, you can feel thousands of an inch. So, you know, you're going to be able to get a lot closer materials off with your finger than you are a piece of paper towel. Sometimes stuff sticks to your fingers and you have to use paper towel. But anyway, enough of that little speech. Alright, we're going to try and heat this bad boy up. One thing I didn't show you, I'm going to turn over here. It's underneath this platen, this white material, it's a heat shield basically for your material. This is a piece of foam, and you got your kydex. I put my kydex, my kydex shiny side up so that it doesn't get any um, pattern or avoids getting a ton of pattern on a kydex itself. Okay, so anyway. We're going to slap this down for 55 seconds. Hopefully that pressure works just fine. I'll probably have to mess with it a couple times to get it just right, but that's what you got to do when you're working with something new. Okay, so we got 30 seconds left. I'm going to go ahead and rotate you guys over here. Let's see if I can't get you a better view of everything. Zoom in here. Shut that off. And I shut my valve back. I'm just going to rotate back over here real quick. This valve here, and the reason why you were hearing that suck, suck, suck sound was because I had this valve was closed. When you try to run this, it um, won't start. It was choking it off because you couldn't get any air in there. Anyway, or that's that's what I'm assuming was wrong. So anyway, so you open this up before you start it, which I should have done. But again, I'm not used to this whole setup yet. And then, oh, there we go. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna show you some of this definition a little better. This definition is a little weak, I would say, in my opinion. It's still good, but I got this tripod locked too tight here. Let me focus. So that's that. I'm gonna open it up here. Let you guys see the result. Should be pretty good for what it is. There you go. 
I mean that, I mean it really gets it down there. But once I get, or once I put a piece of foam or even the stuff that I said that's not gonna really work for this application, even if I put that there, you're gonna get a heck of a lot better look to it plus this. Now you can really see that texture. It's got the texture so it doesn't look as good. And you flip it over here. It's got some pretty good definition there. I mean, same definition really, but. And I can't wait to get me a mold from Tony at uh, Multi Holsters so I can use his rather than putting these wood blocks because if you can tell, this wood block is tipped over gets any pressure on it and it moves out of the way. Now, I can fix that if I'm, you know, gonna do an actual holster, but it's a lot, hell of a lot better with his molds because it's this piece, this piece right here is permanent, as well as that's permanent. Your, so your trigger guard's permanent, sight channel would be permanent. This right there, which is your ejection port, that's permanent. No modifications on his guns as far as I know. On a rail, your takedown lever, or your slide stop, or the magazine uh, release. But uh, yeah, these are just regular blue guns from the blue gun company. And we just tape them up and then uh, make a holster out of them. So that's that. <laughs> And this, guys, is the new addition to the shop. Works great. Can't wait to get to use it a lot. All right, guys, thanks for watching.